no to the proposed sales tax increase in Bellevue. It would have raised the sales tax by a half cent to help expand the city's parks and infrastructure. As 6 News' Johan Marin reports, without it, Bellevue officials expect the timelines for some city projects to slow down. Bellevue voters said no to a half cent sales tax bump in Tuesday's primary election. But it doesn't mean the proposal is going away. The people will see it back on the ballot, I'm sure, if the council approves to put it back on the ballot um, in the future. Mayor Rusty Hike says the sales tax increase would have put more money into improving the city's parks and infrastructure, with most of it coming from visitor dollars. I think it's very important that we have it as a tool, especially when our entertainment district starts uh, bringing um, uh, venues to it. Uh, we're going to have a lot of outside uh, visitors coming to those, and to collect a tax that's paid by outside users and to be able to benefit within the city and help lower our property taxes. Bellevue businesses like Thrift Tees is glad the measure didn't pass. A lot of people just don't want that half a cent in there because it's, it actually adds up. Mayor Hike says the defeat at the polls won't stop regular maintenance to their water mains and sewer system from happening. And projects like adding playgrounds or an amphitheater at American Heroes Park will also still happen but it may take more time. Well, maybe we'd have that done five years instead of 10 years. Business as usual, I mean, we didn't have it before, so we just continue uh, um, funding things the way, we, the way we currently do it. That funding is from current city sales and property taxes, which Hike says are not expected to increase. With many voters saying no to Bellevue's tax plan, Mayor Rusty Hike tells me the city could have done a better job at educating the public about the city's plans, but they're taking this as a learning lesson for the future. On your side, I'm Johan Marin, 6 News.